Okay, so Ye Light sent me two products. This is their new M2 light bulb. And then there is another one, the Google Hub 2nd Gen, which is pretty, pretty new in the market. And it has uh, more functions and slightly cheaper than the first model. So let's unbox the bulb first. So this bulb works with Google Home, which is this. And it is 1000 lumens in brightness. So very easy to install. There's no hub needed. Wow. Look at the material. These days are the things. They all make it really, really nice. It states here, seamless setup with Google Home. Okay. Multi-color. Okay, we should unbox this so we can set up both together. Google Nest Hub. I heard there are some uh, quick gestures that you can do with this Google Nest Hub. Like you can do this, you can wave, you can pause stuff. So very excited to try out the features. Oh, I'm shocked. It's so tiny. Very cute looking. Okay, anything else in the box? Ah, nice. Came with a 3 pin plug. Hi, to get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. Okay, I already have that. Looking for devices. Nest Hub found. Okay, let's add it. Scan the QR code. Scan the QR code, okay. I think I'll put it in the kids' room. Okay, I'm gonna set up the D lights. Uh, this is the multicolor M2 smart LED light bulb. And it says that it's very easy. According to the instruction here, I just got to screw the bulb in, open Google Home app and ensure that Bluetooth is on, and then just pair it in Google Home app directly. Over here, I already see this button, set up one light. Just select and It's gonna blink. So set up. Baby's room. Next device. I'm gonna call it me light. I think light is fine. So it's setting up now. It says on the app that it may blink a few times. Okay, the light is ready. So let's try. Switch off the lights. Google, change the lights to red. <laughs> How about blue? Oh, you can control it from here as well. So I can change it to light blue. So besides the voice assistant, you can also control it from the Google Home app. So just go into light, you can on, off, and I like how it just fades instead of like abruptly. You can also change the color here. There are many colors to choose from. Let's try green. See how it's just slowly transitioned from white to green. Change the light to golden. Mine is golden color. I may change sugar. Can you change the light to red? I love it. So about this voice assistant thing, you know, especially now that Emma and Koei can just come in here and play a video, I'm not sure if if it's a really a good thing because then they have access and this thing kind of works like an iPad to them. Uh, I would be more concerned if there is adult content that they are not sure they are watching because they are just four and two years old. Okay, I shift everything to the kitchen because I want to show you what else you can achieve with the Nest Hub. So for example, you are here busy cutting apples like me. You can tell Google, play a BTS video on YouTube. And if your hands are really dirty, but you want to stop the video, you can do this. See that? One more time. 
And I like that the Nest Hub doesn't have any cameras built in. I mean, if I want to put it in my bedroom, why would I want any cameras inside there? Anyway, it has motion sense that will be extra useful, especially for morning alarms because it can just wave in the air to stop the alarm. Or say the five words, stop the alarm. All right, your alarm for 11.19 a.m. is cancelled. Let's do a quick conclusion here. I mean, the Nest Hub is a cute size. It works as a display clock, it has album function, and very much like an iPad. I mean, you can search on demand with Google Assistant. And the best part is it works with all your smart home devices like e -like, as I've shown you in this video. It's very fun as you saw what I did with my kids. We always play this color game at night. But of course, it's more than that. Right now, you can get it in a bundle. I will leave the details in the description box below. That's it for this video. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!